It was a visit to Washington, D.C. for a four-day workshop called Backpack Journalism that led to my awareness of green roofs. At first, I thought this was just another filmmaking boot camp, and I'd be having to fly to my hometown to attend it. The class required participants to choose a story idea and to make this topic into a brief documentary. Having done video production in Florida for the past 10 years, I already had an idea that interested me, the environment, and I wanted to expand on that. Not knowing what Washington, D.C. might offer on this topic, my instructor referred me to D.C. Greenworks, an organization that installs green roofs on traditional, environmentally unfriendly buildings. While still in Florida, I phoned a DC Greenworks executive director and arranged to visit one of their job sites. I wanted to see what they actually do. It turns out they are a nonprofit organization with dedicated staff and even volunteers who install these green technologies in building structures. My name is Ty Voyles. I'm the project manager at DC Greenworks, and this is the middle of a green roof installation. Um, this roof is a little bit interesting. We took off an old green roof, uh, had the membrane replaced, and now we're installing the green roof. This is our last day of installation, and you can see we're in the uh, final stages of moving the growing medium from the ground back up onto the roof and spreading that out so that we can plant uh, our sedum later today. Um, to give you a little bit of background on green roofs, they're a system of five layers set atop a waterproofing membrane. We've got a root barrier, we've got a drainage layer, we've got a filter fabric, we've got growing medium, and we've got plants. Um, all of that is surrounded by a retention edging. Uh, so environmental benefits for green roofs in the Washington DC area predominantly focus on stormwater management. In DC we have a really old sewer stormwater system where wastewater from your house and runoff from thunderstorms combine in the sewer. The green roofs serve to actually store a lot of that water on site, so at least the first inch worth of rainfall in a system that's this thick, four inches thick, will be kept on site. Really helps reduce the amount of water that's entering the wastewater system uh, and reduces the load on our treatment system. Um, we've also got some energy benefits as well, so the, uh, the heating and cooling demand for this building will be reduced. We've got our HVAC equipment up here. So instead of pulling in air that's 120, 130 degrees, that's going to be pulling in 90 degree air, cooling it less in the summer, uh, which is a huge benefit so that the, the bills for uh, the electricity go down. This company worked with American University to help it become one of the greenest institutions in the region. American University is quickly becoming a leader um, in the U.S. for sustainability. Uh, we did a green roof installation for them on the Kogod building. Uh, that's their, their business school. Uh, we did two terraces, about 1,100 square feet apiece. Um, involved about 60 volunteers on that project over five days and installed the, the two green roofs. They also have uh, green roofs on their SIS building, um, their media center, and the Cats and Arts building. So uh, DC Greenworks is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our mission is to grow livable communities using living materials. Um, so as you can see, we've used plants here on this roof, we use, uh, we use a lot of plants for vegetable gardens, for um, environmental education, for uh, school gardens, school outreach, native and pollinator gardens. Um, and then we uh, also try to harness the human element with that as well through our volunteer outreach. So uh, for the folks behind me, we've got four volunteers out here and one of our staff members. Um, folks learning on the job, we do a safety training, we do an educational piece about green roofs, talk about the benefits they provide and how they're going to be installed. Uh, we have those volunteers work side by side and hand in hand with us uh, so that they become advocates as well as become educated about the process here. Uh, my name is Claire Muter and I'm a volunteer for Greenworks. It's my first time, I've been here about 20 minutes and shoveled some dirt and put it in buckets and spread it around and um, it's really exciting to see this coming together and to be on a roof in DuPont on a beautiful day. Um, helping to make this happen. So I've been wanting to volunteer for a while and just this is the first time I've been able to do it. Um, I have a biology background so I really believe in plants and I really believe in putting plants on roofs and helping to reduce the impervious surface in DC. So, so I think I heard about this uh, about DC Greenworks at 
a lecture at the Department of the Interior about their green roof, and um, they were talking about all that they do in DC and the DC area um, to make green roofs happen, and I was just excited that volunteers could get a chance to help out. So um, here I am, and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you like it? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I haven't been here very long, but it's, it's a neat experience to be working with other like-minded people and to be putting plants on a roof. So. Uh, I've been doing this about two years. I actually did my first Green Roof installation in August of 2008. I was a volunteer at DC Greenworks um, and really enjoyed it. Kind of uh, got, got involved with, uh, with the organization, but with the installations as well. Um, started learning as much as I could about Green Roofs and kind of created a position for myself at DC Greenworks through a grant opportunity that was then expanded into uh, business development and, and now project management as well. So it's been a lot of fun. It turns out Washington DC is the second in the nation for green roofs and hopefully others will follow its lead. and how I can pass this on to others. These machines are actually going to work less hard, so they're going to last a little bit longer as well. So you've got a, an extended life on that. 